The results from the 7th National Census shows the population here on the Chinese mainland increasing by over 72 million, or nearly 5.4 percent in the past decade, to over 1.41 billion people. In other words, China added more people than the entire population of France in 10 years. But the past decade also saw growing fears about the often heard saying of China getting old before getting rich. Concerns that an aging society will adversely affect the country's long-term vitality and development. Indeed, the latest census shows China's working age population falling by some 40 million between 2010 to 2020, with those over the age of 60 seeing the fastest growth out of all age groups. However, fears over China's shrinking labor force and its impact on long-term development are also overblown. Why? First, the world is seeing a general decline in the working age population and lower birth rates. Now, we all know advanced economies have been facing this trend for some time now. But developing economies from India to the Middle East to Africa all face the same trend of lower birth rates. China is simply part of this mega global trend. Second, people forget about the sheer scale of China's population. Yes, the labor force has decreased, but China's working age population clocks in at a healthy and colossal 880 million people. China's demographic dividend still stands. There are more than enough working people to take the place of those leaving the labor force in China, and the average age of China's population is still below 40. Third, the quality of China's labor force has continuously improved and will continue to be upgraded. The average years of schooling for people aged 15 or older increased from 9.08 years to 9.91 years. Even among the older generation, those between 60 and 69 years old, nearly 56% of this cohort have the skills and experience necessary to be productive forces in society. So China's demographic dividend is also transitioning to a talent dividend. And fourth, the decline of China's birth rate has slowed. We are seeing more Chinese families having a second child. In 2013, second-born children made up around 30% of total births, but by 2017, that share has increased to around 50%. China added over 30 million people in the 0 to 14 age group in the past decade, increasing the share of this age group by 1.35 percentage points. But of course, demographics is just one element of an effective workforce. The other is productivity. Companies from around the world understand that China has a highly skilled workforce. The country has a rich tradition of valuing education. As incomes continue to rise and livelihoods continue to improve, Chinese families will invest even more in the educational attainment of the younger generation. China's labor productivity also maintained high growth rates throughout its development history, averaging 7.38% from 1953 to 2019, with spikes in productivity when major reforms are enacted. I believe the country can continue to maintain robust levels of labor productivity growth going forward as this is a reform-minded and now innovation-driven country. So will China get old before getting rich? Well, China is certainly aging, but with effective governance and a massive pool of skilled labor, I'm betting the country's changing demographics will not significantly impact the long-term dynamism of the Chinese economy.